Let's talk about Zoom. I want to talk about um, a uh, summary of Zoom, uh, essentially. So uh, let me go to a different file here. So in this case, I've got this, um, you know, I've got this bad, like this is my bad bullet point uh, agenda or everything I want to say about our capabilities, you know, just endless, endless categories and things. But again, if I think about using more slides, I can put basically each one of those, sorry, put each one of those on its own slide, in which case I can then have sub information to, to really detail my sub bullet points um, get, you know, they get a lot more space around them. And here, I just want you to take notice, on this one, I've got some slides coming after. So film production, then I've got, you know, a couple of sub slides for it, and then we sort of go through it. Um, but let me show you um, summary zoom, which is, again, it, uh, maybe it's a couple years old. It came in, I think, around the morph days. It's up here. Not a whole lot of people use it. Summary zoom will bring up this dialog box. It'll bring up all your slides, a thumbnail of all your slides. And you want to click every main section. So in this case, I'm going to click this one and this one. I'm not going to click the next two because those are part of film production here. But I'm going to go click the other ones. On the Mac, same thing, except I think you need to hold down Shift to select multiple slides. But I'm going to select all of these. And now the cool thing is insert you get this nice little grid, and you can change this. This is just the default of all of your slides, the actual thumbnails, and we can say oops, our capabilities. And if we go into slideshow mode, we again have our visual table of contents. I mean, this does not, you could do your whole presentation based off this. I mean, your audience could think this is the only slide, or this could just be a little section. You could just take one bullet pointed slide and, and send off. And as you now advance through your slides, you're gonna zoom in to that slide. It will go in order here if you're just using a clicker or sort of, you know, right arrow. We go into film production. Now we're gonna drill down in that section of film production. When we're done with that section, it comes back out, we keep going through it. Um, you can, if you want, um, if we go back to our table of contents, at any time, you can jump around. So you can do a whole nonlinear presentation. In that case, I want to go to the middle, hit you know, the next slide, and it comes in. If you don't like these, um, these thumbnails, you can have them be any images you want. Simply by going into uh, the image, right click, change the image, and now we have all these options. We can, maybe we'll use one, one of PowerPoint's icons. Um, what category did I choose? I don't even remember. Um, all right, I'm just gonna pick, um, I'm gonna pick the peacock. I don't, I don't know why I forgot, okay. Um, and it gives you an outline for some reason, I don't know. Um, so we'll take off that outline. Uh, now you can go to your peacock and it goes to that section. And another cool thing, you can just insert a single slide. Um, like if I just wanted to, I don't know, bring this one in to here, it'll bring that in and that'll be a hyperlink too. Here's another cool little trick, not a lot of people know, does not work on the Mac. You can just drag, if you're here, you can just drag this in and boom, does the same thing. But that will now be a hyperlink uh, to um, our slides. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.